Hurry, bubble up. Good afternoon, Facebook, and welcome to another lunch break brought to you by RecTech, powered by Kingsford. It's my favorite month of the year. It's Everybody's May. It's month. barbecue month, guys, and we're getting the month kicked off with chicken week. Thank All you. week long, we're going to be bringing you our very best barbecue chicken recipes. Well, without any further ado, I'm going to pass it on over to my main man, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Lobster, a frustration. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. We are live from the Rec Tech Deck, 3,000 square feet of just hardwood. We're standing right on top of it here in beautiful Evans, Georgia, at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters. What a beautiful day. Sun is shining, the birds are chirping. We've got 90% chance of rain at 1 o'clock. So we're going to get in and get out, ladies and gentlemen. It's barbecue month, like Chef John said. He's on the ones and twos. You just saw him. I'm Jody Flanagan, barbecue dad. You just now met me. If you just now met me for the first time, welcome. We appreciate you for tuning in. I'm going to need all of you for barbecue month to smash that share button. Everyone knows. We'll give you three seconds to do it. On the uh, count of three, smash that share button, everybody. Three, two, one. Smash it. We really do appreciate it. Um, but welcome. We appreciate you for tuning in. We're doing chicken leg lollipops uh, or just chicken legs if you want to. I did a chick one chicken leg without doing anything to it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, but John, yes, how sir. are you doing? I'm doing great. Kicked doing, it off last, yes. uh, yesterday. Yes, with those egg dish, rolls. Mm -hmm. Those beautiful mm -hmm. barbecue chicken egg rolls. They were delicious. You they had were. one. What did you I think? I had two. Yeah. And they were delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, I had one when I was here. Then you gave me one on the way home. That's right. And I figured I would get home and, and heat it up and eat it, but I ate it on the way home. I like That's how good it was. <laughs> That's how good That's it was. That's exactly how good it was. So if you guys want that recipe or any other recipes that we're doing for the whole barbecue month, sign up. Rectech.com forward slash lunch break, okay? But I've got a sauce. These lollipops right now. Now. That's right. I got to do them right now because uh, I want these to be ready by the time we get done prepping uh, these other chicken legs. Okay, so we're going to sauce these really quick. They're going to go back in the RT 700. We're rolling at 325 degrees. It took 60 minutes for them to reach 170 internal degrees. Okay, uh, we're going to pull them off hopefully at about 175, 180, and um, they're going to be absolutely delicious. But we are at the saucing phase now. They've been on there an hour at 325 degrees. Sherpa, get on in here. But we appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. We're cooking on the RT 700 today. It's set at 325 degrees. We're burning the Kingsford Hickory pellet. Why? Because we want that robust, uh, almost bacony type flavor on this, okay? So we've got our chicken leg lollipops. And again, look at how beautiful those look, Ooh, Sherpa. Get on buddy. in there. Wow, those things are sexy, aren't they? Um, but again, 325 degrees. They've been on there for one hour. I've got my sauce and my icer tumbler. Hashtag chef tip, chef John. Yeah. So we're going to take our little leg lollipops and we're just going to dunk them right Ooh. in that delicious sauce. Yes. Okay. And they're going right back into the grill. Okay. I like to give them two dunks and then put them back on our wire rack here, but the sun is glistening mm -hmm. and making this sauce look absolutely beautiful. Let me get out of that sun because I am ruining it for these lollipops right now. Guys, look how beautiful these are. We're about to show you how to prep these, but if you know a relative or a family member or a friend that wants to know how to do this and they're not watching right now, smash that share button, tag them in the comment section because we want them to know how to do these barbecue chicken lollipops. Now, Jody, I see that you're only dipping the meat. You're not dipping the bone in there. That's right. That's right. Uh, you eat with your eyes first, Chef John. That's right. So, you know, I also have the ends of these uh, covered in a little bit, little bit of aluminum foil for presentation's sake. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not going to dip that whole bone. Um, just uh, just getting that meat. What sauce are you using, Chef so, Jody? This is a secret sauce. I cannot Oh. John, we are in barbecue month, okay? okay. And I'm, I'm, this is our, this is a secret sauce. Secret that sauce. I can no, I cannot divulge. Um, my friends and relatives would be so mad at me if I divulge <laughs> this sauce. Okay. okay. But 
Again, you can use that Rectec gourmet barbecue Ooh, sauce. Ooh, that stuff is delicious. Um, and then add, mix it with a little bit of your favorite maple uh, or hickory barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much what you got, what I got right here, okay? I love it, Jerry. Again, I left one normal, you know, uh, unreally prepped. All I did was square off uh, the tip of it so that way it would sit nice and straight in my smoker. But these things look absolutely beautiful. They're going to go back in the RT700 at 325 degrees for about five to 10 minutes. And it's just going to set that sauce. I mean, look at that. Man, that looks so the good. The sun's hitting it beautifully. I mean, cheese and crackers, ladies and gentlemen. They look absolutely amazing. We need you to smash that share button for barbecue month. Three, two, one. Smash it. Now well, we're going to show you how we got to this point, okay? Yeah, but before we go any further, Jody, I just want to wish you a happy May 4th. May happy the 4th be May with you. May the 4th be with you as well, Chef John. Happy yeah. Star Wars Day, everybody. We hope you're having a good one. Um, you know, uh, John, I once uh, ate Wookiee meat. You did? Yep, and it was just a little chewy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm you know, talking that about. You Star Wars joke today, did you? <laughs> uh, that was your dad joke of the day, brought to you by Shiner Bock Beer. It's nothing finer than a Shiner. Get out there and get yourself a Shiner Bock. I love it. Oh, man. Delicious. Just another right. reason why I love May. What? Just another reason why I love May, Jody. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you, everybody. I think I thought Chef John just said that's the reason why he loves men. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what I heard. I don't know. It might be a subconscious John trying to come out. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that, John. There's nothing wrong that's, with that, John. That's how you feel inside. All right, so we've got our chicken leg lollipops. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're not going to overthink these, okay? This is how we want it to kind of sit up. Uh, if, you, if it's in the competition box, you can see we've got our uh, knuckle pointing up here. But we want them to sit just like that. So in order for them to do that, we need to square off this end here. So what I do is I just take a very large knife and we find the tip and we just go down, okay? And we square it off. So then that way it just sits straight up, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we're gonna do that with all of these really quick. Let's smash that share button, guys, if you wanna share some of this amazing barbecue knowledge. Uh, I wanna invite you to uh, the 2021 Memphis in May barbecue competition this year. We're gonna be down there uh, at spot R. 087. We'll be sharing it with our friends at Meat District and uh, we're going to be giving out some delicious food. We're going to be hanging out, showing off some grills. Ray Carnes is going to be in the house. Oh, that one's not standing up like I want it to. But we encourage you, uh, if you're in the area or you want to be in the area, go ahead and get your tickets now. They're not selling tickets at the gate, um, but we are going to be headed to Memphis in May this year. We can't wait to see all of our friends and relatives and barbecue family. Okay, John, you got a good question. Uh, yeah, this one's coming from Mark, uh, Marcus Woods. He okay. says it's Happy International Firefighters Day to all the brothers and sisters out there. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take the, you can see, how I showed you the knuckle. We're gonna take the bottom and we're gonna cut off about a 45 degree angle of it, okay? And that's essentially cutting off uh, those tendons and whatnot. So 45 degrees. 45 degrees. 45 degrees, easy peasy. Following along, ladies and gentlemen, easy peasy. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel back this skin all right, don't overthink it. Peel back that skin, and you don't want to peel it completely off, but you do want to peel it completely back, okay? So that's the next step to these delicious lollipopped chicken legs. So peeling back the skin, we're going to do a couple of different things. We're going to remove some, a couple of tendons, then we're also going to put some seasoning uh, on the inside of this and peel that skin back, okay? So don't overthink it. So we're peeling all the skin off. Again, we squared off the tip, cut the 45 off of the knuckle, and now we're peeling back the skin. So we're gonna find these, this tendon here. You see that tendon right there, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, we're gonna go up underneath it. Okay, and we're gonna cut it out. Boop. Easy peasy. I'm gonna flip her over. Do the, gonna do the same thing with this one. And we're going to do that with all of these. Now, Jenny, we got a couple questions about the skin. Yeah. This one's coming from Chris Dewey. He says, hey, Chris. how do you get the skin crispy when you're going to sauce? Uh, well, we're, we're keeping it above, three, uh, above 300 degrees the whole entire time. 
uh, so our skin is not going to get rubbery. Um, it's actually going to cook out a lot of the fat that we want it to. Um, but very good question. You can also jacquard your chicken skin if you'd like. Um, and that's going to just put a bunch of holes in it and essentially tenderize some of that meat. Um, but those tiny holes are going to allow a lot of that fat to escape. But, um, you know, we're just uh, staying above 300 degrees. That's the golden rule when you want crispy chicken skin, stay above 300. And we're not uh, gonna have any issues whatsoever. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't ever think it, everybody, okay? Anytime you want crispy skin in any type of poultry, just stay above 300 and you're gonna have great results, I promise you. This one's a little bitty guy. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna get everybody lined up and we're gonna season everybody. Again, you wanna stay sanitary, so take your gloves off. Um, there's a lot of great chicken rubs out here, Sherpa. Show them some of these right here. We got some loot and booty. We got some triple nine, uh, what the cluck. We've also got some uh, Heath Riles chicken rub and we got some of that Rectech Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary rub. We're gonna need you guys to smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. Let me know what you would use on this chicken, okay? Let me know which one of these rubs that you would use. Today, I'm gonna be using that Loot and Booty uh, Gold Star chicken rub. It's absolutely amazing, one of my favorites. So we're gonna season the inside just a little bit. And again, we're not overthinking it. We're getting it ready, easy peasy. This is something that you guys could absolutely prep um, morning of or morning or uh, day before. Let it sit in the refrigerator and chill and then pull it out when you're ready to cook it. I'm gonna put on another glove. Again, you wanna stay really sanitary when you're dealing with any kind of chicken, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this skin back over our chicken, mm. right? right now we still got a little bit of work okay still got a little bit of work to do so what i like to do is, is just make sure it's out and it's covering as much of my meat as possible okay and then i kind of stand it up and go on move on to the next on to the next on on to the next <laughs> and again they only take about an hour to cook to get to that internal of about 170 degrees then we sauced them. You guys saw right at the beginning of the show, we put them in some of Jody's secret sauce. I can't divulge that sauce. They said there's no secrets between friends, Jody. It is one It is one contest after contest. <laughs> and you know what? If you showed up at the Rectech Academy and signed up for the Rectech Academy, I'll give you that sauce recipe. But that's the only way to get it, to get that exclusive winning sauce recipe. Okay, you can see, Sherpa, sure, zoom in on one of those bad boys. It's already beautiful. We've already got some beautiful uh, pepper specks up underneath that skin. So if we were to put sauce on it right now, it would have beautiful color and beautiful, uh, it would look absolutely amazing already, okay? So the next thing we do is now we're gonna lollipop it, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is the part that a lot of folks tend to freak out on, okay? We're gonna get the skin as tight as we can and push up a lot of that meat, okay? Then we're gonna take our knife with it as tight as possible, we're gonna go all the way around. And this is the most important part to get right here because again, you can see all of those tendons are right there. Those are tough to cut through, okay? But you guys have got to try this for barbecue month. It is a uh, great recipe, a great way to show off for friends. You can see those tendons, how they came out right there. Make sure you have a good sharp knife. Uh, chicken shears also work really, really well, okay? And then you just take this, okay? And then we peel it off, okay? You can cut it off, but I like to peel it off backwards. It seems to give, uh, seems to come off just a little bit easier and I don't ruin, um, you know, this chicken in the other hand. Again. Jody, yeah. they are absolutely loving Look out here. Right They're there. saying thank you so much for the instruction on how to do yeah. lollipop Look chicken legs. Look how pretty that is. Now, if you got a little bit of this stuff left, that's okay. You can again come in here with your kniff. Make sure it's good and sharp. Just hold that stuff up with your fingers and get on in there and uh, carve it off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? And now is when you want to season again. You don't want to season before this process because again, you could have rubbed uh, a lot of that seasoning off. Okay, so we're gonna take our clean hand and our dirty hand. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Look at that, and we're good. That's how, 
easy it is to prep those, ladies and gentlemen. Not e it takes a little bit of time, but super easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna use some of this delicious Heath Riles chicken rub. Shout out to our friend Heath Riles. He's also gonna be at the Memphis in May World Championship barbecue cooking event. Our friend Myron Mixon is also going to make an appearance. Um, Tuffy Stone is going to be there. Um, we've got Man. a lot of women that are going to, uh, going to be there. Melissa Cookston. There's going to be a, um, a lot of barbecue folks and a lot of our friends that we can't wait to see. Thank goodness the world is opening up, yeah. Sean John. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we're going to take our metal, our mesh metal rack here. Check it out, Sherpa. Now, if we wanted to, again, we could cover this bad boy up with some aluminum foil like we did and protect it. Um, and when, when you go to serve it, it looks a lot cleaner, okay? So 325 degrees for one hour and it gets you done. But again, we wanted to sauce them and put some sauce on there. Oh man, one fell. Mm, cheese and but crackers. look at that right there, John. Wow. Right? Those things look absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Smash that share button these gorgeous chicken leg lollipops ladies and gentlemen now we're not oh, get on in there chuck get on in there chuck take a good picture cheese and crackers man look at that it looks absolutely <laughs> amazing got our cameraman charlie weir over here hey that rhymed I'll take these bad boys off get them in the sun so you guys can see these things glistening. that looks absolutely oh, amazing yeah. jody but these things look pretty, they taste amazing. But most importantly, they look pretty. Again, we're just gonna let them rest for about five minutes and then we're gonna dive right into them. John, you got a good question from our friends. Yeah, well, everybody is super excited about this recipe. They wanna know where they could find this all recipe. Right, so at. if you want this recipe, it's super easy. All you gotta do is sign up, rectech.com forward slash lunch break, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'll be making a post on my social media today about these as well, so you make sure you follow me at BBQ Dad Jody. BBQ D A D J O D Y. Please follow me on all social media. Uh, I've got a lot of awesome things coming up. We're going to be going live a lot from Memphis. So if you want to follow us along on that adventure, man, we would love for you to follow us along. And if you're close, we would love to see you. Mm -hmm. um, so please reach out to us and follow us all on social media. We're going to be having a good time. Um, but John, man, look at these chicken you smash it, my lollipops. Friend. Now, um, I also have an amazing strawberry barbecue uh, sauce slash glaze recipe on my social media too okay. that worked really well with these chicken leg lollipops. But um, if you wanted to, you could dunk them one more time. Um, I'll take the prettiest one and dunk it for Charlie because he's going to be needing to get a pick. But uh, again, this mm. icer tumbler makes an awesome sauce holder for us. Because again, it's keeping my sauce warm. That's right. You don't want to dunk any warm food in cold sauce no, why and would put you it back that? on the grill. It's why just counterproductive. Do Who yeah. does that? Yeah. Who does that? But these things look absolutely amazing and super simple. They're great to show off in front of friends, relatives. Hey, Shannon. Um, friends, relatives, neighbors. But again, this is, uh, you know, this is competition-esque, Chef John. It sure enough you is, Jerry. Some folks actually turn in chicken leg lollipops instead of the chicken thighs or the straight chicken legs. Well, riddle me this, Batman. How do they fit in a competition box? Oh, man, with you crossing them, oh. like crisscross. Okay. You know, they, I mean, it, skull and crossbones, baby. You know, Sherpa would love it. Okay. Um, All right. Looking in that gr that beautiful green box, uh, these uh, chicken leg lollipops, easy peasy, 325. 325 for one hour got us to 170 degrees. We sauced them. They went back on for another five to 10 minutes, easy peasy. We're done. Show's over with. Sure enough. Right? Yeah. We're burning the Kingsford Hickory today. My favorite grill, the RT700, and we got the smoke box loaded up on it. Now, a lot of folks uh, wonder about the temperature difference yeah. chef john so mm -hmm. every time we're cooking on that smoke box i like to let them know what the temperature is on the inside right we're sitting at 325 degrees in the chamber i'm at 250 top rack i'm at a 175 bottom rack nice okay so that's so you guys can get an idea um my wife likes to use that smoke box to reheat food so if i'm cooking you know uh boston butt or uh briskets you know she's also heating up or keeping her sides warm in the smoke box my dad will take out the bottom two shelves over here he'll take out the bottom two shelves 
and uh, we don't have any shelves in there, that's why I closed it. <laughs> it'll take out the bottom two shelves and it'll hang stuff from the top shelf. Uh, you could also take the top shelf out and uh, just take out, uh, just have a shelf at the bottom, put a large pot of chili in there. Ooh. So there's uh, a lot of uh, versatility with that smoke box available at rectech.com right now. Again, make sure you sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. Scroll down to the bottom of any homepage, insert your email in where it says sign up for the newsletter. Yeah. Easy peasy, John. I love it. So we got a question, Jody. They All right, hit me with it. Hit me with the questions, folks. They want to know, uh, uh, is Rectech going to be competing at Memphis in May, or are you going to be just out there hanging out? No, we're just going to be out there hanging out this year. We're not going to be competing. Now, uh, we've got a lot of teams that are going to be competing out there, so we wanted to visit with them. Um, a little bit of a de-stressor. You know, we didn't want to be stressed while we were there. We're going to be creating content and uh, a lot of the behind the scenes, shooting a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, so make sure you watch out for that. But no, not competing this year, but we're forming the ultimate team of Rec Tech Academy instructors next year. Mm -hmm. And yes, we will be competing and we, we're gonna go ahead and call it. We're gonna win it all next year. Win it all next year. You heard it here yeah, first, it everybody. Here first. What's today's date? Uh, May 4th, uh, 2021. That's Rec it. Rec Tech called the 2022 win. I but absolutely love it. You guys can play that. It. So this is the B-roll of me talking about it. There you go. While this is being played when we're on stage and we're going, yeah. <laughs> But any other good questions, John? They're Are they in the comment section? Yeah, they're what all they in doing? here. Are they chirping? They're Are chirping. They mad all at me? 200, Are they happy? 200 of them are out there, Jody. They're saying they're happy. They, they're I mean, absolutely you smash loving that it. Smash share button. Three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Um, they got a lot of questions about uh, Memphis in May. Yep. They want they he just uh, Aaron West is asking, will we be doing some live shows for Memphis in absolutely. May? Absolutely, we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be going on live at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Thursday. Uh, 12 noon Saturday, uh, Friday and 12 noon on Saturday. So that is full. That is 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Memphis time. Scott Hagen asks, what is the web address for the recipe again? The recipe, rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Uh, hit enter, fill out all the info and check all the boxes to sign up for all of the amazing recipes that we're doing this month for, for barbecue month. Tom Taylor says, uh, did I miss the Shiner dad joke of the day? Oh, uh, so uh, Tom, I'll set you up for it, okay, my friend. Uh, what did I do? I can't even remember. It you now. said that oh, you yeah, had. It's, it's May the fourth, so it's a Star Wars joke. Um, I said um, that I've tried Wookie before, and Chef John said you really did, and I said yeah, it was a little chewy. Oh, <laughs> oh man, what do you call a frustrated lobster? What, Jody? A frustration. Frustration. I like that. That's good. That's good. Right, right, right. All right, right. Chicken leg lollipops. What else? Hit Tr me with it. Trey Owings asked, do you ever wrap bacon around these things? Uh, you can. Absolutely. That's another recipe. We appreciate you asking that. Absolutely. 325. It, again, you could do the same exact thing wrapped in bacon. Uh, 325 for about an hour. Easy peasy. Get some of that delicious uh, in between thin and in between thick sliced bacon. Like right there in the middle. Okay. Hickory smoke. Yes, John. Um, we're, we're, when, that. Sorry wow. about that. Yeah, yes. I got stumbled that's, that's, on my tongue. Stutter? People want to know about when we're restocking products, where we're going to be, when we're going to be yep. there, where do they need to go, what do they Absolutely. need to do? Absolutely. So if you want the answer to any of those questions and more, you've got to sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. If you want to know where we're going, when we're going, when we're doing things, when the sales are, uh, what the Dirty Girls are up to, sign up for the re uh, newsletter at rectech.com. Also, go to dgmixers.com and sign up for their newsletter as well. Um, but John, any other good questions? Last question. This is coming from Marty uh, Shacklock. He says, "Hey Marty, is uh, Rec Tech Fest a big event? We're coming from Shoot Indianapolis, you, Indiana. Marty, it is the biggest event. Five thousand plus of your closest friends and relatives out here uh, in the field. Uh, you can't see it, but beyond that beautiful green hill and those beautiful pine trees is Rec Tech Field, Rec Tech Park." We've got a playground. We've got over 20 acres of land uh, for folks just to come in from all walks of life and mix and mingle together and watch demonstrations. Uh, see Kingsford unleash a new product. See Meat District show off a lot of amazing products that they're doing as well. A lot of awesome stuff. Live music, live demos, um, free food, free drinks. You've got to show up May 22nd right here, 4301 Evans to Locks Road, Evans, Georgia. 30809. Get your VRBOs. Get your Airbnbs right now, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of beautiful places to stay. A lot of amazing hotels as well, but we encourage you to come out to Rec Tech Fiesta. 
where we'll have an amazing time. It's our uh, customer appreciation day, uh, what we like to call. And um, we'll be having some amazing specials in the retail area. John will be here, Jody yeah. will be here, Chef Greg will be here, Ray Carnes will be here. It's an amazing time uh, for us to spend with you, our Rectech family members, and we love you. We thank you. Shout out to all the new owners out there. Make sure you clean out your fire pots. Make sure you let your grill rent run empty of pellets mm -hmm. every 200 pounds of pellets. That's all you got to remember. Keep that drip pan foiled if you want to, if you need to. Change the foil, okay? That's all we got for you today. It's barbecue month, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. John, yes, sir. I love you. Thank love you for wearing you, the ones and twos for me. Hey, thank you for Nothing killing us. Nothing shut down show. or anything. We had beautiful audio. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank, thank goodness. goodness. Um, but from everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia, God bless you. God bless the United States of American barbecue. And we'll see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm going to yell at these people, John. Do, do, Where do. Are they at? Rectangle lifestyle. You guys Set in the it. section. Oh, I come see you now. Amy when the sun Ford, starts going Julie down, Stout. Hey, Julie Marcus. live your life the Chris way you Goodwin, like. It's a rectangle lifestyle. Bob Thayer, Dennis do, do, Bassbender, do, do, Gina Meadows, do, Rivers. Hey, Gina. Do, 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 uh, B. Duck Boone. Do, do, do. Rectangle lifestyle. Do, do.